Arknights. Hi guys, this is Lunar. Welcome back to See You First Arknights CN. Alright, so far we've been only gone through two stages. I know, I know, it's been slow. Even I was surprised. There's just so much story around Kelsey. Okay. I don't think we need to worry about this one. Elite 1, level 20, we're way over that. Let's get her. Dive right in. I wonder if that assassination actually worked. 13 years ago. 8 to 09 p.m. Snowy. Uh, there's a autonomous county near Victorian border, Dorant County, Vincent, Vincent, um, I don't know, plantation or house. What a beautiful snowy night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, please come in. Let the waitress, uh, let the servants take care of the snow on you get some warmth near the fireplace mr duke good evening what a great since this is a businessman what a great um wow banquet it is welcome welcome miss diana it's my honor to be able to see you at the new year's eve what are you talking about mr duke See, this is a gift I brought from Kashmir. What a beautiful necklace. Thank you, Miss Diana. Please send my greetings to your husband. Now, please come in. You, we must not let the snowflakes cover up your beauty. Wow, you are so sweet. Oh, who is this? Isn't that... Uh, I, I, I don't want to read this. <coughs> oh, I'm not worth the compliments but i'm still here look what he said we all respect you from the bottom of my heart who will now respect those who feed us feed us up uh you're right next year when we harvest please take a visit the biggest um uh, wind wheels and the fragrance of uh, a flower would definitely make you want to stay no problem. After this snow, tomorrow, uh, next year will be another harvest. Thanks to your kind words. Get some, get some warmth. Tonight we have your favorite bread, of course. It is only great because of the, the flower from your farm. How about you? Are you not coming in? It's almost time. Just leave all the rest, leave the rest of the guests to your servants. Maybe you're right, but it's alright. I like to greet people who I invite. They're all adorable people, whether nobles or businessmen, priests or soldiers. The Doran County is a good place, isn't it? Ah, you are... Oh, let's see. And uh, There's a couple from the Arison family um, that respectful, a respected um, watchtower watcher and... Um, <clears throat> I've heard my most respected classmates that that speaker by nature Thompson has having some health problems. I didn't want him to come here in this snow. So I sent a messenger with my bless with my wishes. But why am I seeing a sneaky, cute messenger right here. Aisha! Ah! Ah, little Heidi. How many years has seen, have passed since we last meet? Uncle Winston, don't mess up my hair. And the makeup I, just, I spend hours on. All right, all right, all right. Wow, little Heidi really grew up. Now you're a very proper young lady. But your father didn't tell me you would come here today. Tell me. Did you just sneak in? And you're still young. Okay, if your father sees you like this, he's gonna complain. Uncle, 
I don't want to hear him complain, that's why I sneaked over. I also heard that today uncle invited a lot of upper class people. I'm just curious. And my dad always told me to see more in the world. Don't get confined in the classroom. Isn't this a good opportunity? Oh, are you not here to see those young men? Hoping to have some romantic um, accidents? I've heard that you've been addicted to those boring love novels and he's having a headache about it. Huh? What, what, what? I'm not that childish young girl. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Your father was right. Romantics are good. But those who are full of commercial values trying to cover up the truth about life is worthless. For this, the entire county should study, should, should pay um, to study your father. <clears throat> Uncle, please save it. I'm I'm embarrassed myself. Whoa, my dad, huh? When he was young, he scolded everyone. But now he becomes a businessman, becomes the person who makes big money. Okay, all the uh, all the all senior folks in the in the associate has been making jokes around him. I'm so embarrassed every time. That's because of life. All right. Just consider Thompson. Uh, was considerate for you and your mother when he was young. He did not. Um, he came to me a lot to complain that he was so talented but just couldn't get the opportunity. How's he feels holding up? Same old thing. After the winter, he'll be all right. So because. Just because your parents don't have time to look after you? You just stole your mother's clothes and come over here? Yes, uh, no! Uh, out of uh, the purpose of studying and following the guidance of my father. Heidi. Hey, hey, can you just consider you didn't see it? You are very naughty this time. In this, in this weather, if you have something happen to you on your way here, what can I tell your father? Ah, uh, uh, see, it's so late. You can't have me find another car to go back, right? Ah, uh, this kid. Come in. Don't get cold. Don't catch a cold. Yay, uncle's the best. Uh, but uncle, who are you waiting for? Is there some other honorable guest you are waiting? Oh, it's a brilliant Latin priest. Last year, your aunt didn't caught some unknown disease and she was having high fever and thanks to a priest madison cured it after that we became friends i visit him i visit her frequently um this priest not only good medicals and he has special understanding for across all disciplines very eye-opening Ooh, this must be a really a powerful person. <laughs> of course, if a talent like this can work for the Vincent family, it will definitely be a lot of um, contribution to the local development. The the plan to go to uh, Lundinim. I had I had the intention to invite that uh, priest as a friend to go with me. And also to um, keep your aunt company. But unfortunately, she had other things to do. So today, I want to introduce this person to everyone else. Uncle, is that um, a gentleman? Is that a very gentleman sakta? Is he old? Ooh. Who was saying that someone is looking for romantic accidents? I'm just asking. Don't worry about it. This is a brilliant lady, and not Sakta. Even though rare, it seems to a feeling priest. I very appreciate people like her. <clears throat> Uncle, I didn't, I didn't hear anything. I won't tell your, tell my aunt. Rest assured. What are you thinking about? 
I should really like tell Thompson to to scold you. Oh my! Hey, hey, this is too good. This is too good. Oh my god! I need to take a screenshot of this. I'm sorry, guys. So was I late? Oh my god! I can't take a screenshot. Never mind. Take a screenshot yourself. Um, am I late? <laughs> Wait, we're fighting just like that? Wow! Now it seems like this video can go across like more than one uh, more than one fighting fighting stage. There's only one, uh, you know, air support point, so let's have this arranged. This side can be easily taken care of with W. Wait, both sides come over here? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, this is shield. I'm still able to, uh, okay. Ah, I skipped it. So basically that drone will have high HP and also recoveries, uh, recovers HPs over time. And this is shield that can call a drone. Just saying. Boom. It doesn't seem like I ever need um, to use mountain skill. But anyways, what am I waiting for? Come on, faster, faster. Was that for the mine? Was was he calling an air support on a mine? I don't know what what that's for. Ready to go. Stay clear of the blast. So apparently this whole thing is the backstory of Kelsey. You know. Which I think I will enjoy. But what's going on in the present time? We're so we're still far from it. Oh my, is my internet down? I hope that's not the case. Hmm. I guess I can only hope. Oh, okay. Ah, please, Kelsey. You're finally here. Um, and your outfit. I'm really honored by your invitation, but it's out of a sudden. The um. What's that thing called? 
I mean, they they couldn't prepare a good um dry, uh, good um attire for me. I could just only dig this out of their warehouse. I hope you don't mind. Oh, I, of course I don't. But you look very sharp. Hey, Heidi. Here, this is Fritz Kelsey. Make your greeting and come right in. Mm. Heidi, Miss Heidi, nice to meet you. Uh, um, yeah, my name is Heidi. That I already know. Very cute name. And you are Fritz Kelsey, right? I've heard my uncle mention you a lot. It's my honor. Fritz Kelsey, you know Mr. Thompson, right? This Haley Thompson is the daughter of that weirdo. Is that so? Your father is a very respected, respected person. All right, come right in, please. Thanks again for your generosity, Vincent. Um, Mr. Vincent. Oh, so you know, Miss the the Duke. Um, the Duke is going to lend you name. Have you been to have you been to the city? Ah, oh, don't worry, don't mention it. I was all packed up, but then the catastrophe messenger came here and say the road is closed. Go home. After I went home, I immediately got a huge disease. Oh, that's so poor. Is that is a poet here today? I made some articles in private and I wanted him to give me uh give me his um feedback. Don't worry about it. Don't you remember how many times that Thompson ripped off those thinker straps in front of the Duke? Oh, I remember. Thompson doesn't have any mercy. He said, The collision of ideas should be merciless. What a dreadful person. It's not always a good thing to be so aggressive. Well, but only young people like that will have, will be um attractive, right? Of course, I admit that I've been, um, I've been admiring that Thompson, but in front of the Duke, Thompson still couldn't get rid of his uh, prejudice. Uh, yeah, was he intentional, Thompson? Of course, this is our respected duke. Not just for the dukeship and the position. All these years, duke has been regulating his land very well. We've all seen it. Oh, even though Doran County is not his um, territory. So technically, we regulate it together. But duke is a leader that we respect him. Not only that, he has been invited to Luntinim several times to participate in the festi festivities over there. Isn't that something that we, a small place, well, because we are a territory town, should be proud of? Hey, noble. Ah, don't make something so serious. We're all the citizens of Victoria, aren't we? Yeah, citizens. After that unthinkable hanging i don't even know who which citizen i'm of don't say that we all feel sorry for the passing of his majesty you see can we still drink here today capilly yeah today's a happy day don't talk about something so sad here the duke is here i've heard your topics interesting richard i would love to see your article what are you talking about mr duke I am nothing compared to you. Yeah, Vincent. Tell us about your uh, Luntinim trip. Who did you meet? Was that one of the big duke in the uh, in everybody's uh, everybody's been talking about? Don't rush. No rush today. The banquet has just started, and don't forget, it's the day that we celebrate this festival. And please allow me to introduce to you the two very special guests we have tonight. Please, Kelsey, please. Good evening, the, the honorable guests. Please allow me to send you my sincerest greetings. What? 
you are, you are actually a lady. Oh, what a pity. I don't think there's anything to be pretty for. The priest Kelsey. Good evening. Oh, oh, priest Kelsey. I think the Duke, uh, the Duke has mentioned you. I heard you helped uh, her, madam. Um, lend your help to, uh, madam. So that, uh, that's how you got appreciated by Mr. Duke. According to, uh. As far as that goes, it wasn't an easy peasy. Please tell us about where you come from. It's not common to see a Latland uh, priest outside Sakta, and also, especially given that you are so um, charming. Pretty lady, where where are you from and where are you going? Aren't I just asking that? You shut up. According to Duke. You're a very talented person. And it seems that you have your special understanding regarding philosophies and arts. No. I'm just accidentally. I, I just happened to help um, Madam Duke. And that's how I got appreciated. Oh, so if you are familiar with him. Maybe you should also know Mr. Thompson. Yes, Mr. Thompson is a rare um, a literature person in uh, the Doran County. And I oftentimes hear uh, Mr. Duke mention him. That's great. Servants, please bring me that red wine. I want to talk to the Duke and this priest. Ooh, wait a minute. Don't think you can take over this banquet. Can we talk about something more interesting? Maybe that fashion show in Luntinim? I'm fine either way. Masters, just let me take a rest here. Just give me the opportunity to open my eyes. Ah, you are so lazy. Otherwise, your industry will grow 100% over what you have right now. Three wineries, isn't that big enough? Oh, yeah. You mentioned that there was another guest. Um, Is it? Good evenings, uncles and aunts. Heidi, why are you here? Hello, Heidi, you're so pretty today. Oh, that Thompson. The only thing I could not match up with him is in terms of kids. Hey, Heidi is not the age of drinking, so don't give her any drinks. Servants, give her some milk, a cream soda. Don't treat me like a kid, Uncle Vincent. But you definitely cannot drink. And your father has told me repeatedly because you are still this age. Aww. All right, all right, all right. Change that to a uh, ginger beer. You don't need to take care of me like that. Ah, little Haiti wants to grow up. Oh. But there's no father who wants to see her, his daughter to grow up quickly. Isn't me the same? But thinking about those uh, diamonds. I was scolded just for thinking about buying some diamonds. Well, even though you don't let me drink, but at least let me participate in the banquet. See, I'll sit here. That's my honor, Miss Haiti. I'll take your head for you. Ah, no, no, no. I can keep it. All right, Haiti. Don't forget you sneezed here today. Later, you need to go to bed on time. Uh, you look like a mother. Kid. But now, uh, please, Kelsey, do you think I'm still a kid? Does it matter to you? Um, let me hear. Let me give you some wine, uh, ginger beer today. Hmm. That. Thank you. Are you satisfied now? It does taste good. Ooh. Didn't they say that ginger beer doesn't have alcohol? Why are you blushing? Well, this kid does not go well with uh, unfamiliar people. I mean, it's not, it's not a, a uh, it's not a short-term thing now. Here, people, since we're all here, let us start a banquet. Hmm, who is she? I don't know. You are so right. 
the arts in Italia is so good, but those people are so full of themselves. What capital do they have that they can look down upon us? Natalia, oh, there's so many things going on in Natalia. I've heard of the, the, the witch king stories since I was little. Who knew that when I finally decided to travel there, the emperor actually dealt with that king. Who would travel there knowing the dreadfulness of that king? It's different in those uh, emperors who became emperors while they were kids. The witch king needs to reach at least 50 years old to become a king. But then he can get to uh, rule Italia for a long time. Without a question, the witch king is the strongest character. He turned himself into a monster. Just like what those dreadful stories describe. Even his horns are twisted into weird shapes and it's spreading weird energy. Oh, I've never seen what a witch king looks like. <clears throat> Sorry, this one is too good. But I've seen the, the, the queen on the newspaper. One golden, one, one black. Hmm. Natania sees a lot of sees a lot. I can imagine that when the witch uh, king, the, I can imagine that witch king never leaves his attics, and he will always look at Natania. And we always stay in Natania, and even to see his um. His reports, even when seeing his reports, he's only giving them a shadow to look at. But the last, the the last time he ever touches ground, he was already not in one piece. It was a pity to have his horns taken by each of the. Queens. And we don't know what happened in that coat. Uh, in that, in that, uh, I think it's cold. But as far as I know, even the most, uh, the most, uh, skillful, I don't know, assassins we're proud of, cannot match the power of that king. And that's why, when the queen reaches Victoria, with the support of the knights, all the dukes were willing to pause their fight and treat her with all respect. What? It sounds like you've been to London even? I've flown here. And I became a priest because of one of the sakta over there. Aha, Kelsey. Like I said, all of these are good friends. See? How popular are you? And I actually have a daughter who is about your age and all she knows is to spend the money I make with so much diligence. What if she could learn from you? I'm glad to meet you tonight. Are you still single, little Kelsey? Please, Kelsey. Oh, Heidi. You should go by go to bed now. Let her speak, um, Mr. Duke. At this age, Kids are more mature than, than we imagine. Hmm. Please, Kelsey, you have you been to Ursus? Oh, that country full of treason, treason and violence. When I was studying abroad, I've stayed in St. Dreamberg for a couple years. For a couple for a couple while. Are you curious about Ursus? Yes! But that has shown me a few books from Ursus Arthur author. There are only two RC verses. There's an entertainment and the internal greatness. Well, if it was appreciated by Thompson, it was probably the the latter one. Ugh, you trust him so much. My dad is 
admires it so much. I admire him so much. I even wanted to go to Sanjumber, Sanjumber to visit him. Because of his visits, he's been pushing off. And this year, because of his old um, disease, he couldn't go either. Is your father injured? Yes. His knees uh, were broken. But he didn't want to get treated. And now he's he's got something untreatable now. I reminded me. Uh, I don't know what happened. He ran back like full of scars. As I just said, he ran into some bandits. And fell off the, the, the cliff. And didn't want to say anything more than that. Do you want to go to Ursus, Miss Heidi? No, 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 no. The former emperor's death and treason has influenced this country so much. Even if you want to study there, you need to wait a couple years. I'm just talking about it. What's your uh, uh, impression of this country? Let me put it into a story. It is said that the six groups of verses disappeared because a bottle of vodka. That doesn't sound reliable. Anything if we just keep its um, simpl most simplicity form, the conclusion can sometimes be surprising. We all we are all used to progressions, right? That is right. In the beginning, it's because some military thug was collecting rents in the region under the military's control. But unfortunately, he threatened one of the nobles. And this keep growing. And the sixth corp at that time was considered corrupt. And the old nobles power is well established. And the fifth corp will obey the young emperor unconditionally and the new including as well as the new um, parliament we couldn't understand who initiated but in the end the fifth court started the fight so in front of uh, in the middle of two middles uh two mobile cities course they fought the six corps heads on there's a lot of versions of how the big treason happened. But I have heard a little bit about the six corps wrongdoings. And they fought just like that. If it was that simple, it wouldn't be called the big treason. The fourth corp who have been defending a terror uh, defending at the border whose power and influence is not in the center of forces, suddenly turn to the, uh, the parliament and immediately uh, split off from the traitor Six Corp. After executing a couple of scapegoats, the old nobles only has the Six Corp and the Eighth Corp. The next winter, the fourth corp and the nobles behind them did the same trick and uh, turned to the emperor this time. And now, what happened to the sixth corp? Very obvious. And all of this, like I said, we all know, it's just a thug, drunk, and used a vodka bottle, assaulted a young noble. Great story, Fitz Kelsey. I can guarantee this story is probably no different than the truth. Eddie, I won't tell you this is Ursus. Any civilization in this, in, on this earth deserves you to check it out yourself. It should be appreciated, but also be, be critically thought, critically evaluated. In the Ursus that you appreciate, what do you see? Maybe it's the farmland, maybe it's the heroes, maybe it's the dramas in the Shenzhenburg operas, but what I see It's the wave after, it's the um, influence of the big treason. 
It's a shaking time. Will Victoria also have a time like this? I cannot guarantee anything, Miss Haiti. How could it be? Look at you. Are you scared just because uh, Prince Kelsey talked about a small story, uh, a single story about Ursus? I don't mean to insult the Ursan people, but the Ursan Empire is an unreasonable country. But now isn't Luntinim also... Don't say it like that. Even though it was very sorry. Well, even though everybody's sorry about it. But has Victoria ever seen this much of shaking? Alright, alright, Mr. Duke. See? See where this topic has left you. You should talk about the Luntinim trip, right? That's what we'll be most curious about. Did you see any great nobles? To be fair, I was really honored because on my way there, the Normandy uh, Duke asked him for dinner at his flagship. What? How can you wait till today to tell us that? Wow, that's Normandy Duke. Duke Normandy. He's always hated Latanian people. Did he got any trouble with the um, emissaries from the Queen's Voice? No, 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 no. But according to the servants of Mr. Duke, that Duke didn't look at that uh, elegant messenger like at all. Boom. That's what a priest, uh, that's what a Duke should look like. There's those pretentious dukes in Ursus. There are just too many of them. Uh, maybe not that many, but they are a little too many. And I have to say, some of them are just useless. This is, uh, this is some kind of self-pride. But I have to say, every person who has seen Luntin in, in his hall will say that. I trust that the Duke Normandy used rely on his own force to keep those uh, aggressive people, aggressive, greedy people, quiet for a few decades. Not to mention that we have more than one big Duke. <laughs> hey, are you tired? Hmm? No, I'm still thinking about the things uh, Priest Kelsey has mentioned. Can I talk to her in private? Oh, if you don't have Kelsey about Luntinim, that would be boring. Oh, uh, thank you for the kind words. Mm, don't worry about it. I see someone is uh, waving to me. I need to talk to him. Later, I will talk to you. Are you bored, Miss Heidi? Ah, uh, no. Actually, I'm all right. Alright, yeah, I just thought we can talk more about the poetry or the harvest, but not boring politics. Ah, uh, haha. This is part of the meaning of this banquet. I can see you are a little bored as well, aren't you? You seem to know more. Those people who surround Uncle Vincent chit chatting a lot. You don't appreciate them, are you? You seem to misunderstand me a little bit. Oh, yeah, I mean, we just met each other tonight. You are right, please, Kelsey. You can call me Kelsey. Um, Kelsey, can you accompany me for a second? Later, Uncle Winston will take, tell me to go upstairs. I don't want to go to bed so early. The snow has become stronger outside? Do you mind? No, let me accompany you. What a heavy snow. There hasn't been such a heavy snow in years. I like snow, Kelsey. I also like my hometown. I know. Ah, oh, so cold. Everybody stays next to the warm fireplace. Hmm. Now it's just us two, Kelsey. Hey, hey, Kelsey. It's so hard to try to find time in private with you. You're still young, Heidi. Your father shouldn't get you involved so simply. But this is my dream, Kelsey. I want to do something. 
rather than look at outside from the warmth of a house like a real kid. See, what do you say that when the real winter comes, any of these trees in Victoria has survived that snow? And then in this case, in that case, we should prepare ourselves. You are just like your father. Is that a compliment? Consider it one. Hey, hey, ah, there shouldn't be anyone coming, so just right now, only now, I can pass these letters to you. Hmm. The intelligence people that you father, your father picks are never late. They are the best messengers in Victoria. People with uh, people with dreams from all industries, except for this time. What trouble did you run into? The young lady stopped her naive steps. This right. Before the chaos comes, the young people need to be prepared first. There are two letters. Um, Kelsey. One from the entire Victoria, the other from Castile. That is interesting. I don't know what the letters are about. How are we doing on time? I guess we can do another one. But before that, let's see. Oh, we're still far from WD5. Or, oh. but I do realize something. That we can get the new operators here. Well, oh, I can redeem this, but I actually don't have it because that's given to me after I pass WD5. I don't think we have the time to do that. But let's get through WD4 first. Let's go. Oh, that went straight into WD4. Good. I have no problem with that. What is this? Wait, did they say I cannot place our I mean I cannot place operators here? Oh I can. Okay, never mind. I don't see any join support points, so I assume there is none. Oh, grenade. Oh, wait a moment. Wait a moment, sir. Can he be blocked? Okay, he can. Good, 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 good. That does change a few things, by the way. I mean, first of all, we need something like this. Oh, this one. Very familiar. Wait, can this block too? Oh, yeah, no.
分かった。目を凝らせ。これこそがイベリアのデストレッツ。Okay, let's hope this can go well. 誰もサプライズ付きだからスキル選んでねいい加減にしなさいよね That, that, that's it? Okay. But that was a WD4. Is there a story? No story. Okay. Well, maybe we can do WD5. Ah, there's a, there's a story stage. Alright, guys, I think that's a good point.、Uh, that's a good point to cut off. This is Renominar. You're watching CA First, Arknet CN. I'll keep making videos about the latest CN events. Um, so, if,、uh, if you want to follow, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Numinar. You're watching CA First, Arc Night CN. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!